You're welcome back. This is Newsfile. It's your most authoritative news analysis platform. And here on Newsfile, we put Ghana first. And my guests in the studio, uh, Obi Amwa and Sami Jemfi, uh, we had Professor Kwesien in via Zoom. Uh, on the next subject of the EC and the exhibition exercise, which is uh, scheduled to end tomorrow, um, we will have Dr. Srebo Kweku of the Electoral Commission, Director of Elections, also uh, joining us. Now, um, there is this, there's this gentleman in the Volta region uh, who is a teacher and who wrote and seemed to agree with the posture that uh, the two of you take. And he says that so far what has happened appears that they are, we are treating them with kid gloves and they should be dealt with with the full force of the law very quickly so that um, we don't get this continuing. And that is Fiawife uh, Asiwome uh, writing in that regard. Uh, I've got just a couple of your messages to share and then we'll continue. Ilyasu uh, in Tamale says, the Samish Jemfisi governmental complicity, when will this uh, thing stop? And this is petty. Uh, is he not aware that there are rumors out there that um, some NDC people support them? Okay. So they, they are afraid to charge them. All right. Because, oh, no. because okay. they will vote for them. All That's right. <laughs> okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Um, so I think I can pause here. Let's go straight to the issue of the Electoral Commission. And if we may hear um, the President Mahama raising the issues first. Uh, you would also have heard Elvis Afriye Ankara, who is Director of Elections of the NDC, also raising issues about the situation. Uh, Member of Parliament, NS Nobe Ashaman, um, also reported of uh, uh, his name getting missing on the register. Of course, we heard that the, uh, the, the running mates of the NDC um, and, and the chairman Professor of the MPP. Nana, yes, Opoku Adjman also had her name uh, missing initially, but all of those have been I ID number rectified. duplicated. That ID was number missing. duplicated. Yeah. ID number duplicated. Let's let's just uh, take a listen, watch this, and then we'll get to the discussion. We in the NDC have exhibited restraint at all times in this electoral process. Even now, we are committed to doing so, but. Let me serve notice once again that we will not accept the result of a flawed election. We will certainly not look on. Neither will we check our civic responsibility and allow the EC, whether by ill intent or sheer incompetence, to usurp the people's mandate in the December 7 poll. The Electoral Commission must take immediate steps to rectify and sanitize the register and re-exhibit it to avoid the voting public and all stakeholders an opportunity to verify their particulars in the voters register before it is finalized. My brothers and sisters, this moment demands of us to act with patriotic zeal to preserve the peace and stability of our beloved nation, Ghana. In the central region, glaring cases of duplication of card numbers were also recorded in 14 centers in the Commander Edina Eguafo Ebrahim constituency. And one of such cases involved my running mate, Professor Nana Jinopoku Ajiman. She went to her center to um, um, check her name. She sent somebody to check her name, and they said she had to come herself because 
the, her, her number was duplicated. Somebody else had the same number as her. And so she had to come and collect the card and take it to the district office to go and sort it out. And so she had to drive from Commenda to Elmina, where the district office of the EC is. And at Elmina, they took the old card from her, destroyed it, and replaced it with a new card. I mean, being who she is, she could make the trip to Elmina. What of the poor farmer in the village who comes and finds out that their card is not valid? Are they going to travel to Elmina to, to replace the card? Our observations show widespread anomalies at various exhibition centers across the country. So far, our officials and agents have reported anomalies from all regions, including except Aswasi in the Ashanti region. So what I'm saying is that there are anomalies everywhere, but in Ashanti region, it is only in Aswasi that we are seeing major anomalies. So you can do your own analysis. This has already given us cause to believe that the anomalies and distortions in the register may be deliberate as it is widespread in our strongholds. EC officials were caught on video late at night printing and laminating an unspecified number of voter ID cards. Obviously, this is one of the modern rigging techniques the EC has deployed going into this election. Our suspicion is that either the new ID cards were being printed for non ghanaians who are not legible to vote or persons who did not register at all. My name. You see, the, the disparity here, or the dishonesty that I may say about the Electoral Commission is that you claim I was lying and that uh, 21,000 people could not be missing on the register. But in your statement, you said there could be I mean, incomplete transfer of data. Incomplete transfer of data, you, you are implicating yourself. Regarding the allegation by the Ashiaman MP, to the effect that his name has been deleted from the voters register, let me state emphatically that it is false. The na his name has not been deleted nor expunged from the voters register. Secondly, has been alleged that the names of 21,000 registered voters have been deleted from the voters register. That again is false. And we have evidence to that effect. Normal challenges with registration. The ID card is important to it, it facilitate the registration. But you can vote without the ID card. If there's something certain thing that you don't understand, you can also call the person after the and we'll meet. Yeah, but so what I want to say is that the challenges are there, we appreciate them. Uh, but they are part of the exhibition. That's why we do exhibition and we rectify all the uh, errors and those things. Uh, but that will be the final result. We'll have a credible one. All right. So you heard a number of voices, of course, including uh, officers of the EC. Uh, so we are not there. Sounding very much like uh, Jean Mensa uh, in their voice. Some identical uh, resemblance I seem to detect there. And then. Uh, Dr. Shribo Kwaku himself was the last to speak. Um, so, yes, uh, 60,000 registered voters got duplicate ID numbers. So what? Um, Dr. Shribo Kwaku says, that's the reason we are doing exhibition. So why is the NDC, you know, the presidential candidate had to uh, postpone his uh, tour of the Boronho region, and then the vice presidential candidate, uh, vice pres uh, the running mate also had to pause. All of them come to Accra. Then you organize a big event and talk about all of these and also allege um, that there had been padding of the, of the register, so to speak, that the numbers that registered, that you were giving when the registration was complete, have suddenly increased some places so exponentially that you are so worried about. Uh, let me welcome Dr. Shribo Koku uh, to the discussion. Doc, thank you for making time to join us. Thank you, my brother, and good morning to everybody. Thank you very much. So let's, let's, can you put your complaint in perspective to, uh, for our viewers to understand uh, why you come to the conclusion that the EC 
has uh, demonstrated monumental incompetence. And let's put you to the test, whether it is not rather you who have demonstrated monumental incompetence by the allegations that you raise. Thank you very much, Chancellor. Um, first of all, it's important to make the point that we have come this far in our democratic journey and experiment because as stakeholders, we have all collectively ensured that elections in this country are free and fair. Mm. And this year, we have another duty to safeguard the gains we have made and consolidate our democracy by ensuring that the process is transparent, free and fair. And this is why any time we observe developments that are worrying, that undermine the integrity of the electoral process. Mm. We raise the issues in the media and the public space so that they can be discussed dispassionately and addressed for us to have free and fair elections, for us to have elections where every eligible voter is allowed to vote and not disenfranchised. In the, in the circumstances, you have not just raised anomalies, but you have elevated what you have seen beyond its suspicion and say there's a collusion yeah uh the ec and the mpp to rig the elections simply the that's issues we have raised are in threefold okay so let's hear them the first one mm. has to do with the illegal and secret printing of voter id cards by the electoral commission illegal with, and secret printing yes without the involvement of political parties the second one <laughs> has to do with serious procedural breaches by the Electoral Commission relative to the ongoing voter exhibition exercise that undermined the integrity of the ongoing voter exhibition exercise. And the third and final one has to do with widespread and monumental anomalies that we have discovered in the ongoing voter exhibition exercise. That, gives us, that give us genuine cause for concern about the credibility of the voter register being compiled for this year's general elections. Mm. Let me take the issues one by one and explain. Yeah, so illegal and, and secret, secret printing. printing of ID cards yes. without the, the involvement parties. of political parties. Okay. Now you First, see, you tell us why it is illegal and yeah, why yeah. you call it secret. Okay. First of all, per our electoral laws and systems, when we conduct voter registration mm -hmm. exercises and we are done, mm -hmm. the processes that follow subsequently are deduplication, adjudication, the generation of a provisional register, mm -hmm. and the exhibition of same. Mm -hmm. After exhibition, anomalies that are identified are addressed, and the final register is produced and given to the political parties. Okay, so you just said in the exhibition, mm -hmm anomalies yes. are addressed yes. and then you get mm. the final yes. register. And I'm going, to, I'm going to address that okay. issue. So yes. let's go. Mm. Now, when you are done with a registration exercise, the, our electoral system does not allow the electoral commission to surreptitiously, in secrecy, print ID cards without the involvement of political parties. Because if you look at the way our electoral processes are designed, at the voter registration stage political party agents are there to monitor mm -hmm. okay and so if you conduct an exercise with us that can't say and if to there it. are challenges after okay what you do is that you inform stakeholders you inform the political parties that we've conducted a registration exercise the cuts that we gave some of these registrants who joined long queues from morning sometimes till evening, we have found out that some of these cars are defective because the voter ID numbers on the cars are duplicates. And so how do we solve it? Even if you don't think that it is necessary to involve us in the solution, at least you must tell us the solution you have adopted for the problem and get us to participate, monitor, and ensure that the rectification of that problem is being done in accordance with law. When we concluded the voter registration exercise by the 8th of August, we started getting reports from across the country that the EC 
was calling voter ID card holders to return their cars for new ones. We got complaints from a Sunafo. We got complaints from so many constituencies. In the beginning, we didn't believe it because we've never seen something like that happen in our electoral process since 1992. Only for us to come across a video on 8th September this year, which captures EC officials in the Blikuma Central constituency in their offices, printing and laminating cars in, without the involvement or the presence of the people they are printing the cars for or political party agents. And until that time, we had not been informed by the Electoral Commission that there had been so any challenge one, of duplicate voter ID numbers. It is secret because we were not informed. Yes, and it is secret because it is not being done in the open. Uh, and it is being done okay. in the, it, 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 right, without the office. presence of now, the people the cars are being printed wait, for. Wait, we said and then without the knowledge wait. of political parties. It is secret because you were not informed. It is not secret because it was not being done in the open. It was being done in EC office. That's what you said. Yes. Doing yeah. their activities in their office cannot be said to be secret. Then you say it's illegal. Uh -huh. um, when you say it's illegal, you mean... The law doesn't allow an yes. activity. Which mm -hmm. part of the law? So can we say which law doesn't allow the EC to print ID cards to replace uh, duplicates first of or all, ones that are not First of there? all, mm -hmm. there are ways by which voter ID cards are issued okay. to people in this country. Right. Whether at a registration exercise. Or the EC's office. Limited registration or continuous registration. Yes. If I went to the EC's office, EC's office yes. they will issue me a, uh, a voter To replace card. your missing card. You will, not card be there, you will not be there as a party, and that will not be secret. No, but you will be there. Yes, I will be there. Your card mm -hmm. will not be printed for you in your absence. It doesn't happen in our electoral system like that. No, but I thought sometimes you go, like if you lost your card, yes. you go, they give you the, you go pay at the... A GCB, yeah. yes. and then you go make your decision. You go away, later they do it for no, you, you go and pick it you up. You will be there, you will be verified, mm. even before your card is reprinted, laminated, and given to you. Okay. Mm. So the practice of printing voter ID cards for people in mm. their absence, What's wrong with that? and in the absence of political parties, is a problem. First of all, let me show you why the, 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 the absence of political parties is a problem here. Mm. You see, they are allowed to only print cards for people in the presence of those people and in the absence of political parties, when it is about continuous registration okay. or replacement of card. Mm. And what, what we are talking what, about here what's is, is not... What suspicion does the this suspicion give rise to? The suspicion is that if during the secret printing of cards, mm. they re-registered new people and issued them with cards, political parties will not be in any position to know. But you already have the, uh, the yeah. register. You have a register yeah. which is fraught with widespread and monumental anomalies such as missing names. Mm -hmm. Now, when I go to an exhibition center that my name is not in the register, once I have a voter's ID card, I'm entitled to be given an inclusion form. Mm -hmm. yes. So if they illegally register people secretly in their office, and you don't have an opportunity to check that, you don't even know the number of cards they've printed, who it has been distributed to, you can track that. And I take that card and go to an exhibition center at a polling station. I am entitled to be given an inclusion form to enter my particulars into the inclusion form as though I was registered during mm -hmm. the main registration exercise, okay. even so, though I was registered So that's, that's number one. That's number, number one. Number two, serious and, and, procedural and, 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 breaches. And to wrap up number one, the mm. serious issue there is that number one, if they have nothing to hide, mm. why were political parties not informed? Why were we not asked to deploy polling, po 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 yeah, polling agents to monitor the process? No, How but, many but people? They, they were taking these cards to the specific centers How? where the duplications are located. They are distributing it at their district and, office. And in those polling stations, you have representatives. No, there. they are not distributing. You see, they even started the printing and distribution of cards before the voter exhibition exercise. Okay. Now, now to, to the next. You say serious but, 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 but you see, breaches. Yes, but you see the serious issue yeah. about this. Secret we are dealing with card. time because things will I, come I, I'll, up I'll and then you will have to respond. You to see it. the mm. serious issue here. Okay, maybe since Mr. Strebo is here, he will raise the issue of oh, even if you have a defective card, you we'll, can vote. We'll, we'll that is neither we'll here nor there. Asking those questions. <laughs> you say there were procedural breaches. The procedural breaches is that mm. when you compile a provisional register 
or when you when you conduct a voter registration exercise before you did the provisional registers to the political parties and you exhibit it for mm. you know voters to go and check their particulars you must have concluded the duplication the reason why that is important is that the biometric system is designed to pick out all duplicates in terms of fingerprint mm. data when it picks it out it goes to a committee who evaluates the evidence and take a decision as to whether or not such person should be deleted from the main register right. and put on a multiple register. Mm. Now, if you do an exhibition exercise without concluding that process, it means that something, you can go to your police station, check your name, your name will be in the main register. And yet, after the duplication is concluded after exhibition, your name will be moved on the multiple register. So you may not be able to vote on election day because the deduplication which should have been done before the provisional register was exhibited was not done. The second procedural lab is that in conducting a voter exhibition exercise, there must be necessarily the biometric verification devices which will be authenticating or verifying us on the day of election. Mm. Because we have a system of no verification, no vote mm. in our electoral laws. Okay. And so it is not so, enough mm. for you to go to a center, check your particulars, your particulars mm. are there, yet you are not verified. Because Let, let's deal with uh, widespread, like you said, widespread and monumental uh, anomaly. So, I think that's so, so the key point here, since mm. because of time, the key yeah. point there again is that the EC was giving money, our money, mm. to procure 75,000 BVDs, okay. which they say they have procured, mm. yet they have deployed only 5,000 of that. You go to so many centers today, they are not BVDs. You have deployed ah, 5,000 of that to just 30... Out of 33,400 polling stations. stations. For the exhibition. Yes, shouldn't it be in their interest for them to test this equipment, allow people in the provisional register to authenticate their minutiae mm. before the election day so that nobody is disenfranchised. Okay. But we have seen cases where people go, mm. their names and particulars are in the register, but the machine rejects them, okay. meaning that their bio data has been mismatched mm. or swapped. Okay, so now so the, here, the, the here issue you. of the widespread and monumental anomalies. Uh -huh. <laughs> you see, people say that, oh, the reason why we do voter exhibition is to identify anomalies and address them. That is true. You said so yourself. Yes, yeah. that is true. Mm -hmm. But there are two issues here. When the voter exhibition is not done well, when it is not done with the benefit of a concluded deduplication exercise, ah. when it is be being done without BVD machines, exhibition. then that exhibition exercise is robbed of the internal remedial systems that check these anomalies. Okay, now hold the it there for me. No, 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 okay. no hold it there. Hold no, it there. Something. There are no, serious hold it, hold it there. Are you, hold Can it I just conclude this? No, hold it there. In me. just one minute. In, okay, one I can minute. do that in one yeah. minute. Mm. Two, we are talking about the magnitude and the nature of these anomalies, they are unprecedented. And if you look at the limited time we have, you look at the fact that presidential candidates must file their nominations between 5th and 9th October. And you look at the wide scale, you know, and unprecedented anomalies we're talking about. Is it? is it not isolated uh, polling stations in constituencies Randy, who that you? you refer to in your press conference, uh, where uh, President Mahama spoke? Over. In every constituency, there are huge monumental anomalies. No, you in cannot, some cases, you cannot be saying that. I can give you specifics. Those that you have a fact, just read them. Okay, you, you, you stated so, them. Mm. In, if you go to Narang Sago Primary School exactly. in Binduri, mm -hmm. not a single person is on the exhibited register. So that is one place. Yeah, they printed the that blank is one sheet place. and yes. mention the next. Yeah. Templelim Primary School mm -hmm. in Binduri, Kumpal Guga, Prime, if I get the names right, the wrong, they should forgive me. In Binduri, they registered 428 and 392 people respectively. Not a single person is on the register. That's right. In 18 constituencies in the um, Binduri, in, in the same Binduri, right. 6,341 people don't have their names there. Mm -hmm. In Drapa, 2,057 people don't have their names on the register. In Accra, Klote Koli, 2,054 people don't have their names on the register. In Krowo, 2,453 people are affected by duplicated card numbers. Mm -hmm. In Ashamai, as we speak, even after they replace the first register, we didn't have the name of the MP and about 21,000 people. 
the register they are exhibiting now doesn't have the names of 7,000 people. Okay, thank that you. That is yes, monumental. No, no, hold on. And you have few no, days. No, no, we are, talking, we are talking about delicious. how many constituencies and polling centers across the country. Mm. So, more than 200 constituencies. So, so this will be a fraction. No. No, just hold it. Just hold it. Now, let's, <laughs> let's get to... not me the time to... Let's because we to, don't obviously no, have, have the time. have enough time. I know, but I'm trying to say that... Now, let's go to the... the let's go to Dr. It is overwhelming. Dr. Srebo uh, these issues that are being raised, of course, um, uh, Sami has not pointed me to the illegality of what he said. He has not pointed me to specific breach of any law, but I will not do too much of, uh, you know, a legal uh, discussion here. Right. Um, so let's, let's take it one by one. You said you identified 60,000 or more deduplications. What does that mean, uh, duplicate? Uh, and, and that is not true. It's far more. Yes, sorry. Far more. What does that mean, and how do you cure that? Are you allowed to go through that process without doing what he, he speaks about, the deduplication, and without the involvement of the political parties? Uh, something, uh, good morning and regards to everybody. I have a summary of some of the challenges we had in 2012. So I want to send it to Odami so that at a point in time you project it to so that people who appreciate. Okay, and that's for the purpose the of making the point where Sami says this is unprecedented, yes. right? This year. Yes. That, that I'm saying so that if you Great. Project it, that you know. Yes. Some of the programs that we are talking about and how we are them in 2012. Great, great. Okay, now let's so go. I order them to order me. All right. So that you will be fine with getting it. Okay. But uh, I'm happy. And that, the other yeah. side too is that it is normal mistrust of minority parties against the Electoral Commission of Ghana. <laughs> when they are in, uh, in, the, in the other side, the Electoral Commission doesn't it's do anything it's good. It's but when they come to power, it's a different ballgame. So, we, we know all these things, but the most important thing is that in each of the um, anomalies, there are procedures that we use legitimately to address them. Mm. That's my preamble. Okay. Now, with respect to uh, the duplication aspect that he's talking about, I, 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 I don't know whether they are, they are also aware that we are printing the main registers in the absence. I don't, think, I don't, I don't know whether that one, they, they are okay with that. Mm -hmm. The main mm -hmm. registers for all the centers that we are printing, mm -hmm. they are not involved. You're so right. they have no the qualms when that. we are printing the registers, but they have qualms when we are printing ID cards. That is another issue. Mm -hmm. Now, when the video came first, the voiceover was that we are doing illegal registration. Now, on that one, nobody is talking about that. Mm -hmm. Now, they have, they have accepted that it was rather the elimination of the ID cards. Now, this is how the whole thing is. This is how the whole thing is. We did the registration using different kits, which was not online. So the system were generating their, their ID numbers independently. Now, when they are up, then uploaded onto the data center, then the system will, will identify the duplicates. Mm -hmm. Then the system itself will correct the uh, anomaly by generating new ID cards. Okay. To repair to. So if you go to the database, the new ID cards have been generated because now all this data have been brought into the data center. Composites. So the data mm. identifies the duplicates and regenerate the ID cards. Mm. Now, when they did that, it, it, it prints a list of people who have been affected. Then the ID cards are printed at the head office. When they are printed, so you, you take a sheet, a sheet is about maybe uh, A4. Then about 10 or 12 or something will be printed on it. Mm -hmm. Then we send them to the districts through the region. The region will uh, uh, disengage them and laminate them and add the list of people who have been affected and send to the exhibition centers where the political parties have their reps. So in most cases, if, if you go to the field, it's the parties who identify the people involved for them to come from the ID card. Okay. So I can assure you that if you go to those centers, the parties at the exhibition centers have no problems. No matter it's the people who are at the top who will, will make the allegations and the rest. But the cooperation at the, at the police stations, they are completely different. Thing. So, so that's the explanation. So, so and on, it is not against any law. So, yeah, so on producing the composite <laughs> register and the, the, the system being self-correcting, 
identifies the duplicates and then corrects them then you say the new ID cards are generated. Now, yeah. when they are generated, the, those that are affected must return the, the, the one they have. Then you take it and cancel and give them the new one. How are, exactly. they, how are they supposed to know that their names have been that affected? Or you just uh, expect that uh, if they don't go for exhibition, they don't get to know? That's what I said, that the, the, the parties are the, as we said, they themselves help us to identify them, and they come for their cards. Okay. And let me also put it, that add that, the, some to you yourself, as I speak to you, you wouldn't know whether your 2012 card was a duplicate, whether 2016 card was a duplicate, and if whether current one is a duplicate, because you will use it to vote without any challenge. Mm -hmm. So the, the electoral commission tells you that your ID card is duplicate, so come and replace it. You wouldn't know. Okay. But because it is you seamlessly cast your vote without any challenge. So the ID card issue of being duplicate or not has no effect on the person's eligibility to vote. Mm. So unless you are informed, you wouldn't be aware. I see. Now, comparatively, 60,000 duplicates. You say that's uh, not sort of a monumental failure as the uh, President Mama presents it. You, you promise us that we're going to this new, sophisticated, better, well-improved system, and here we are, 60,000 duplicates. That, we are told, is unheard of. Some the registration ends after exhibition and after the corrections. So if we have gone through all these processes and these so, uh, challenges are there, then I think we can now raise them. Mm. But as I said, the system is correcting itself. Okay. So that's identify the challenges because that's what I said because the the IDs were generated offline. Mm. One machine wouldn't know what the other machine is doing. So it's only when they are put together and they enter the database. And that's what the system is able to do the regeneration. Mm. So I would have I would wish something if you have time you you can go to one of such places and you see how the system is addressed at the exhibition center. Right. So the system would that regenerate itself. Mm. So so um our representatives in parliament I uh, gave you sufficient money for the purchase of, is it 75,000 uh, BVDs. Their concern is that you had exhibition in 33,000 uh, centers and you deplored only 5,000 BVDs. And uh, as you hear, you hear President Mahama say, that is going to give us potential big problem on election day. Because people who are going through uh, the exhibition are not being verified. How do you respond to that? Something the essence of verification is for you to vote. So we only use exhibition to pilot it. If you just yeah, last year, 2019, mm -hmm. we did exhibition without any BVD at the centers, but people voted. So we are only piloting the new equipment at 15% of the centers. Okay. So we decided to, it's a part, even the recent, the machine that we use for registration. Mm. We piloted it at only the regional capitals, the BVRs. We only piloted at the regional capitals okay. before we use prestige. So this time we decided that let's pilot it at 5,000 centers, that's 15%. Mm. And the, even the installation, we said that there were a lot, some places that have huge numbers of traumatic fingers. So the, that should be the first criteria to select. Then we also look at people who place where, which are highly populated. So we are only piloting it. The essence of the BVR is for the election. That's why it is multiple of the polling stations. So that every polling station will have one and a one by backup. So that in case there's any failure, that they can, one comes in. We are even going to buy more. Because we, we are now raising the number of polling stations from so, 33,000 to so, 40,000. So you are doing a pilot of the BVDs. Yes. Exactly. A pilot of the BVDs therefore means that you don't have to bring all the BVDs out, yeah. you know, to test. That is not the case. That is only what we're, what we're doing. Okay. Case. Now, that now. Is not what that we're is not doing. Yeah. And we have to target the 15 percent. Right. The case. Thank you. Now, this very. Uh, and and to, to me, uh, to me, if we handed, would have been good enough for the test. Handed. Okay. Now, my 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 last question for now to you will be. One of the serious issues they raised, an issue that was raised that initially anybody hearing it was alarmed, was that 
the numbers of registered voters or registered voters or uh, yeah people registered at the close of the process that you gave to them they have found that some of them have increased um they've been padded yeah so padded <laughs> can you give us the explanation to that how come those numbers have increased after you gave them the the list uh, I, I, I think I, I, an example was given in uh, Aswasi. Mm -hmm. So I want to respond to Aswasi, which will explain the others. Okay. Something, if you remember, we did the registration at each of the registration centers for six days. Whether it was uh, uh, clustering or facing, every registration center had six days. Uh, uh, MA Primary School as Koran Mampong, registered 385 for the sales days. Some, you also remember that we did registration at secondary schools. And we said that those secondary schools that don't, don't have residing centers, in the normal circumstances, would have registered at the nearby polling stations. Hmm. So because of the COVID restrictions, we were going to register them and has allotted, allotted them to their nearby polling stations, hmm. if you remember that. So the... Kumasi Academy, it's a second school in Kumasi, Kumasi Academy, and I, I believe you have heard of it. Right. The first phase of the second school, we registered 260 something. I'm not so sure of the figure. Mm -hmm. I don't have it with me now. Mm -hmm. Then we go, when they are going for second phase, we did we two phases. We registered 699. Then we did, we did mop up there, we registered 294. Then we also, uh, 21 people registered at the district because if you remember, we said we were raising the vulnerables at the district and assigned them to their police station of choice. That one's also registered 21. So MA primary school, MA primary school, which had 385, now has 1,606. And each of the residents that I've mentioned about, the political parties were there. They were giving end of life report. The end of the sorry, end of the report, end of the report listed everybody who registered the date and the time the person registered. So if the political party to put all these things together, they should have the figures that I'm talking about. Mm, so that is how it is. So if you pick the number at that center alone, it will be misleading. Mm. Because if it goes to the secondary school, that secondary school figure will be added. Some people registered in the um, district offices, the figure will have been added. But right. in each case, whether at the secondary school, whether at the district office, whether at the main position, the mm -hmm. political parties have end of the report. So they should put them together mm -hmm. and they'll get their figures. Okay. Now, Dr. Dr. Srebo Koku, hold on briefly for me. And I'm coming to OBI yeah. and he has some of the, you know, previous figures that he would show us. But in a minute, uh, Sami, don't you find listening to the explanations that Dr. Srebo Koku gives and the Electoral Commission had also given earlier by way of the statements, two statements that he issued earlier, that your claims are pretty much baseless. Not at all. Because if you raise an alarm that the register is being padded, it's either you also didn't understand the process. Not at all. You were incompetent at appreciating the, the, the process or you were up to mischief. Because the, the number you get at the close of registration, it's likely to increase because of the subsequent the registrations that were done outside of the those mm -hmm. centers. Mm -hmm. How not, do you respond not, to that? Not, not at that all. On the contrary, we are very we are very competent. Okay, so that particular and we know what we are talking. Let me deal with this particular one. one. I will deal with yes. the other falsehood he has peddled. Yeah, the issue of pardon. The issue of pardon. Let's take as I was saying. Mm -hmm. The figures he gave you, two hundred and something, six hundred and ninety nine, two nine four, and twenty one people who registered at the district office. It doesn't give you a figure above 1,300. Yet, we have identified in our letter to the EC additional names of 3,901. Look, he's talking about secondary schools. Let's talk about that, how I said. If you go to Sakafia Islamic, 203 names have been added. What secondary school is there? If you go to Galilee you, Church, one, you, you 31 saying, names. You are saying that you know for a fact Yes. That this school does not exist. I'm saying that 
the 203 names have been added to the register. Uh -huh. Yet, the, there is no secondary school in that police station that they conducted registration and have but added that number who, to this one. There were people who registered in the offices. The district office, we have the print house because we had agents there. Few people, like the place he spoke of. Mm. 21, few people registered. We are talking about hundreds of names being added to the register. Mm. He, the, the, all the figures he gave you, if you put everything together, it is 1,300. In the letter that we have sent to them, supported by indisputable evidence, we have counted 3,901, almost 4,000 names. So when you were raising so this issue, not being truthful. when you were raising this mm -hmm. issue, you raised a general issue and said, the numbers have increased. Yes. To suggest that to have the number increase, something criminal ought, ought to have happened. The, the, the increase. Meanwhile, you know for a fact that the numbers are bound to increase. Let me show you the mistake. Because of the making. registrations that were done at the district and in, the, in various Because you are proceeding the on the assumption that we did not take into cognizance mm -hmm. registration done at the district offices and the secondary schools okay. before we made that allegation. We took that into account. And so when we say that numbers have been padded, we are, we are not saying that it is not to the exclusion of those additional registration exercises which so, we did. So are you proving this? We, are, we have written letters, Clote Kole, uh, we've written letters, Asawase, mm. we've written letters on the padded figures. And we have given them indisputable evidence. We've listed the polling stations. Our daily printouts show that we register so, 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 and so number. If you add the people who registered from the district office, it comes to this. Okay. Even if you add the number of people who registered in secondary schools, it comes to this. Mm -hmm. Yet we are counting over 4,000 extra names. What is the explanation? For one police station. Not one police station, for the entire constituency. And, and, they, and we are uh, breaking that down into police stations. And those people... And so he should, go, he should revise his notes because the figures he has given us on news file only explains... 1,300. That is even if we did not take into account mm. those additional regimes, which so, we have done. Hold on, hold on. But there are so many no, other on, things he has said, on, but on. I, my, my senior um, brother will have uh, to Dr. Koko, I'm coming uh, back uh, to you. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. I, 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 I deal with the issues. I'm listening. Dr. Koko, what do you say? Because when I heard your explanation, it was so easy to appreciate mm. that they may have just been too much in a hurry. Uh, but he says they are dealing with numbers, taking into account registrations, uh, additions that will come from the district and from the secondary schools, and yet they have in excess of 3,900. What, what, what do you say to that? Which we have presented it to them. We are not saying it just on radio. Hi, Dr. Koku. Something. Yes. He said that my figure don't sum up. So I'm giving you that. I have the figures now. Okay. So I want to give them address. So okay. the, the main station at MA Primary School. Uh, as far as I'm the main research was for the census was 385. Okay. Then the, the second school, Kumaka, the first phase, 242. Mm -hmm. The second phase, 699. Mm -hmm. The MOPA, 259. Mm -hmm. Then from, second, from the uh, district office, 21. Mm -hmm. Let me just do the quick so summation. I should give you that one thing that I was talking about. Okay. Yeah, so, so 1,221. Mm -hmm. This is our letter to them, identifying 3,900. Oh, where did you get it? 3, We've yeah. given them so, so, <laughs> the so, register. So, yeah, check so, for themselves. So, Thompson. Yes. Thompson. This is the total. So, so based on this figure, you read that the difference is almost 1,000. Two two one. Two is the total. This is my letter to them. All right. Now, yes. So what what is that? Where they have yeah. identified the differences? They should go to our district office because when they mentioned the Swansea issue on their uh, uh, press conference, that's where I got my figure. Because I have to call the district officer to seek clarification. Mm. So I cannot respond to every center because I will not have the figures. All right. But if if they have any challenge, then as I have taken you through. The difference could be as a result of registration in the secondary school mm -hmm. or registration from the district office. So, so they should go to the graders' office where the figures they are talking about had come. And probably I believe that when they get there and the explanation I've given you, 
they will understand them. But I thought you said because they're lying. Nobody, this is news file. Can, mm. This wait, is not hold even on, hold other on, shoe. Hold on. If hold you on. don't have facts, Please, hold on, hold you on. don't come and hold on. make claims that you can't substantiate. Now, shit. they say that the, what they brought to you... This is news file. They said that, in summary, a total of 100... Is it 1,100... Uh, 639 was recorded during the entire registration period as against uh, 1,316 as contained in the voter register presented to the party by the EC with an overall increase by 3,901 3, and decrease by 1,246. The figures you're giving, um, which is 1,201. I don't know if if what he has said, you you find that your explanation may not have satisfied And him. what he's asking us to do has already been done. We've sent this letter to them. Okay. Supported. Now, now hold on. Do this. You know, with do this. Uh, Dr. Sribo Kweku, I want uh, Sami Jemfi yeah. to make this representation in their letter, which I am seeing. I don't want to read it myself. Okay. To make that representation to you in explaining, and then okay. give us your explanation back. Let's hear so okay. go ahead. So yeah. we, this is what we have stated in our letter to the Asawase district, uh, EC office. In summary, a total of 101,639 people were recorded during the entire registration period. Entire here means those who registered in In names, mm -hmm. and so the the increase is three thousand nine hundred and one. The decrease relative to missing names is thousand two hundred and forty six. So even if we take the explanation you have given us, hook, line, and sinker, which is based on the assumption that we did not factor that in our analysis, which is not the case, but let's even grant you that it only explains thousand two hundred and twelve of the padded figures. We are talking about a far what, bigger what's problem. What's the basis of your padded figures? Because we have been giving hmm. the voter, the provisional register, which the EC is exhibiting, in all the polling stations in Asawase. And we have compared that with the register which was generated after the voter registration exercise. And we are able to identify names which are not in the daily printouts we had from their district offices, from polling stations, and then from the schools, because we had agents in the schools as well. OK. Dr. Uh -huh. Dr. Sribo, you heard and that. Then, yes. um, help us. Uh, I'm lost. Help us. Uh, please unmute challenges. yourself. Please unmute yourself and start all over again. What, I'm, what I heard, is this saying that the figure that has gone down or increased? There is an increase of 3,901. That means that 3,901 people who were not on, who were not registered, now have their names on the register. Then there is a decrease. And, and of, that 3,000 is not explained. Is that what you are saying? Yes, it's not explained. And that there's no explanation that is, for Exactly. That. And you say that 3,000 is even after those who registered in the, and the district district office and in the uh, and, and in the school. We factored that in. Mm. And secondly, there is a decrease. Decrease here means those who were registered but whose names are not on the provisional register exhibited by the EC. The total is 1,246. And your claim and so, is that this analysis mm -hmm. you are doing with documents or registers supplied you by the EC Electoral itself. Commission of Ghana, which you can attest to. Okay. And which we, have, we are not just saying this on radio. We have written an official complaint and here, attached here. all these pieces here, of evidence. Here, Dr. Kweku. So let's speak let's hear Dr. Kweku. Yes, as yes as Dr. Said. Kweku. Yes. Uh, I want, I, I still, I'm not speaking to him. Mm. Is he saying that the figures at Aswasi has increased or decreased? You see, both. It has increased by 3,901 9, because 3,901 people who were not registered during the registered uh, registration exercise now have their names on the register. So that is the addition, mm -hmm. 3,901. In the same vein, it has increased, decreased by 1,246. Because those who were actually registered and giving cars, 1,246 of them don't have their names on the register. So we are giving you the padded figures 
those who were not registered but now have their names on the register, 3,901. Mm -hmm. And we are giving you the decreased figure, which is 1,246. Those who were registered and given with cars, but whose names are missing. And this is before your district EC director in Asawasi. You can confirm with him. He's aware of this issue. So, so my, my first question is, when did they write to her? She's a lady. I'm sure the letter went either yesterday or the day before. I yesterday have, or the day I, before? The, the day before, yes. Uh, so that would have been okay. after your press conference? Yes, okay. yesterday or the day before. All right. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, so what, I, what I, I would say is that I don't yeah. have the figures he's talking about. Okay. Because if it had come to us, then we would then investigate. Yeah. Right. Because what, uh, from what they, because they mentioned as one say, that's mm. why I asked her to and the lady gave me this example. So the that's explanation right. you attempted okay. was not based right. on so, so, an understanding yeah. of what you said, It has not gotten issue. to our office. Uh, it, right. It's only when it gets to our office that we can now ask for questions. That's so right. what he's saying, I wouldn't say he's lying, I don't, okay. but I don't have the facts, mm. so mm. I cannot speak to it. That's fine. Okay. I, uh, I don't have the facts, so I can't yeah. speak to it because right. I don't come to our table. Right, but... Uh, but what I want to say is that... Mm. I, what I want to say is that every registration that we did, we gave them a copy of the end-of-day report. Right. So if genuinely they have all the end-of-day report and they submit it to the this officer or us, mm. who then investigate and come out and establish the truth or falsehood of it. Okay. Because there's no way you can go contrary because... Right. It is because of the transparency of it that's why we are supposed to give out copies of the printout. Thank you very much. So everything much. that I've mentioned with respect to that particular school, thank, the printouts are ready. Thank you. Very, very quick one. Was I right or wrong when I said some of the ID cards, you print them without the, the holder necessarily having to be uh, in your ready. offices? You Was I right or wrong? You are right. What is it? Like that. The difference is that if you have not misplaced the ID card, right, then we need to establish the identity of you, right, right. That one you don't have any card to show. That mm -hmm. one have to go to the verification, right. But where we have identified it, and we know that you are holding a number, let's say four seven, but that number four seven should have been fifty. In that case, if you bring the four seven with your ID card, the picture is the same person. It's only the ID card that has changed. So you bring a card and you take another card away. No need for if you verification. Don't have card, okay. You cannot be without All right. Okay. Thank you. Now hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No. No. Let me do this. Do this. Do this. Yeah. Uh -huh. Um. Now, Obi. Yes. Take us through your understanding why the NPP is not is not agitated like the NDC is. Well, thank you. <laughs> and so if much. you can start from the premise where they say this question. is unprecedented, and well, therefore uh, labels the EC as having. Uh, uh, exhibited uh, monumental incompetence. Thank you, Samson. I would say that um, for the candidate, that is candidate Mahama, mm. either he's been misled mm -hmm. by people who should know better, or it's a deliberate attempt to bastardize the whole system and to have a basis for rejection of the election results. Mm. And I have reasons to say this. Um, it's, it's quite unfortunate for the NDC to adopt such a posture. We went to IPAC. At IPAC, the IREP brought out all the issues. There, there is um, duplication here. Uh, the numbers are high here. Some cars had to be retrieved. We told them we are also facing the same problem. So in the first place, why do you say that the EC is conniving of MPP to rig the elections? That makes that statement very unfortunate. And if that's, I want to be charitable, otherwise irresponsible. Because some of the issues that you've raised, I can tell you that in various constituencies, we have come across those things. So we are not lying. If you come to my constituency, the Krapim South, there's an area called Degu. As we speak, 302 new cars have been printed to replace the old ones because the coding, the numbers there, were, were not the right numbers. Mm. And as we speak, we've asked them to bring the old ones to come for the new ones. Because we have been informed, we have the list of all those people involved. There are other places where they don't even find their names. So far, we've counted about 141. So I'm saying that if you create this kind of Fear and panic situation 
then you uh, sometimes we, we end up questioning your motive. Because in the first place, registration, whether we like it or not, even with the involvement of parties, is an individual matter. You cannot register for anybody. The person who registered goes to the center. He doesn't find his name. He has to fill the inclusion form so that his name will be included. His details are wrong. He has to fill the correction form. He has found a name there which should not be there. He fills the exclusion form. The EC will generate the inclusion list, exclusion list, mm. and all these things. And, and for those of you watching us on television, uh, Dr. Shribo Koku spoke about you know, uh, the cat catalog of technical issues uh, with the 2020 exhibition of the voters register. Uh, 2012 vo voters register, sorry, 2012 voters register. Yes. That is what you have on your screens now. Yes. So you can tell what happened uh, and compare to today and make the decision for yourself whether the NDC is right when they say that the EC has exhibited incompetence. Tell somebody or dummy to copy me. Mm. Yes. So mm. <laughs> it was mm. more information. Yeah. <laughs> so what I'm saying is that we have come across these situations. Our solution is that let's use the system to make sure that they are corrected mm. as much as possible. Because this grandstanding, if the exhibition ends and then you have not filled the inclusion form, you have not made any point. If you think that somebody should not be on the register and you've not filled the exclusion form, you haven't generated anything. Mm. And some of the issues that you are raising, they, they occurred in 2012. In 2012 in my area, the whole list was given and new cars were, were provided. In 2012, I can give you a brief method. The list is here, I can give you mm. everything. So we shouldn't create the impression that this is unprecedented and is deliberate and is connivance with the ruling party if you make such statements. We are just out to incite people mm. and to create the impression in, that... In, in 2012, the national picture was that missing names. Uh, you had the places affected. You had 152 districts in the 10 regions being affected. That's, that's what you had in 2012. Including blank registers. Um, same voter ID number mm -hmm. for more multiples mm -hmm. of voters in the same polling station, mm -hmm. 2012. Mm -hmm. It happened in Lade Kotopong, mm -hmm. Ekwapem South. Yeah. Uh, that's getting to your area, right? That's my area. Uh -huh. Fantiakwa, Hohoi, Jasikan, Esikuma, Odobing Brakwa, uh, Odobing, Temametru, Keta, uh, Tano, North. Um, yeah, so this, the list goes on about the things that happened. Yeah, Thank okay. You. And in 2012, the statistics is here. Mm. The, the, the this duplicate, group duplicate voter ID numbers in 2012. Gan West, Ho Municipal, Mampong, Bantama, Savulugu, Tema Metro, Echuma, Nwabieja. Right. Number so of there was, sorry. they said, um, how, they, how they corrected that. System programming issues, reprinting of ID cards. And in 2012, I have seen ID cards that were reprinted, used in 2012, and used in 2016 as well. Yeah. We will come to 2020 mm. and some of the issues which have come up and which the EC has responded. Mm. But in 2012, corrections alone, 200,000. 200,686. Mm -hmm. this, this is the statistics. Mm. You come to disease 79. Five nine, objections seven thousand three hundred eighteen, inclusions seven thousand three hundred eighteen. Inclusion. Inclusion. What? Give me the figure. This year. Mm. Seven thousand or what? Uh, yesterday I appeared on uh, well, this show on, on, yeah. with um, Griffiths. Okay. When I gave him these facts, this morning I heard him talking only about inclusion. <laughs> but if it's correction, you'll still be giving a new card. Mm. <laughs> and that happened two hundred thousand, over two hundred thousand. <laughs> New cars were printed okay. for correction. Mm. Is the figure 7,000 or 9,000? So, uh, 7318. Um, um, and, yeah, Obi, the, sorry. The, the, the question I want to ask is, is it your understanding, yes. like we are being told, particularly by the opposition, yes. that this was supposed to give us a superior, improved system, and that because of that, these were not expected? Is, is that your understanding? Well, if, if, if you're new to this, mm -hmm. You may say that that's the understanding. 
But you should know that apart from procuring the equipment, people will pay the equipment. And if the people are not well trained, or if they have other motives, you could still come about with this, some of mm. these problems. It doesn't really mean that once you have, like 2012, we had new machines. Right. And we said they were the best. But look, mm. listen to the comment. Just give me just two minutes to read to you what they said about 2012. Okay. The overriding challenge reported were shortfalls in the number of persons registered at many polling stations. That's one. There were swapped polling station codes. Displacement of voters and instances of names and pictures swapped. There were several complaints of voters being placed on exception lists, even though their registrations were not challenged, while others who were cleared by the DRC had their names missing on the exhibited voters' register. That's a summary of the situation that happened. Mm. In 2020, we appear to be experiencing some of these things. I see it as the glass being half full. How do we sit down to address this so that at the end of the day, nobody is disenfranchised? But the attitude of uh, our friends is that this is a grand scheme, grand scheme to rig and that uh, will reject flawed elections. Of course, you have every right to reject flawed elections, but it's your duty and responsibility to ensure that if you reject okay. it, you go through the right, the right okay. process. So, so yeah. this, yeah. This, this is how I want to, I want to end yeah. this discussion, and so we can take a break and return with very limited time to see what we can say about the... Uh, fight corruption uh, campaign by the various parties. Uh, Dr. Koku, um, I have some yeah, more questions. Wait, Dr. Koku, um, my, my issue with you is, <clears throat> is, is that your understanding as the EC? Because we understand that you are spending a lot of money. You have been giving quite a bit of money for this process. And so this was not expected. What do you say to that? Remember the, uh, you remember the election challenge? When the elections uh, were challenged in the courts by uh, President Akufuado and co, um, uh, we, we had issues of duplicate serial numbers, hmm. duplicate polling stations. All of these were issues that the court looked into wow. and confirmed for some of them that they had happened. Uh, something. Mm. That's why we would call this one provisional register. Provisional register in the sense that it's not final. There are a lot of things that we have to go through, including the exhibition exercise, including the, all the challenges that have been identified being addressed. Uh, uh, it will interest you to know that uh, as at yesterday when I was leaving the office, we have been able to retrieve all the missing names and we are now that would have around 17,000. So if you compare that with like, uh, 22, you see that we are getting closer. And we are still doing the end of life and the rest. So we realize that if nothing at all, it's only the 17,000 that will apply for inclusion. So we have moved ahead, uh, collecting all the errors. And we also I want to say that it is good for anybody to be criticizing, raising the issues. But my concern is impugning the the emotive is my concern. Because it's good that somebody is watching you. So that at least you are taking, you said, hey, I have to be very careful, this and that and that. But if they are coming without the name, impune motive and the rest, anybody who has been moving with lessons and the rest knows that these things will happen, you correct them. And that's why the system itself is regenerating itself, addressing the challenges. The machines are operated by human beings. Human beings will make the mistakes, the machine will generate it and we'll do the corrections. So they should understand that anything that has happened at the registration will be rectified during exhibition and after exhibition. So by the time they will get the final register, all these challenges that they are talking about will not be issues. So they should relax do, and do, have confidence that do. the Electoral Commission has no interest in cheating anybody. The Electoral Commission who has been congratulating and they do to date. Which yeah. the, 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 electoral commission, the, the Electoral Commission may not have any uh mission or agenda of cheating anybody but it must produce a register worthy of the expense we are making because you know the controversial circumstances under which this register is being produced on the basis that it will be superior it will be far improved so it is it not Something. fair is it not fair that citizens should complain that they don't Something. want to hear we have, we have we have not completed the register okay we have not completed 
So oh, wait for that to that is, exhibition is part of the the, the, the compilation of the register. Mm -hmm. The post exhibition errors and those are part of the community. So it's when we have come out that this is the final register, then mm -hmm. you can now say that the register is not credible or not. The first place, when we talk of credible register, what does it mean? Okay. Can so, mean that uh, the Dr. Dr. Should be Dr. Koku, do, do this for me. Stand, uh, uh, remain there. Uh, we have just very little time to finish this. I'm taking a break. And when I come, I will need you to answer the question to, to ensure that there is, uh, you stick to your, your, your motto of fairness, transparency, and accountability. Was it not expected that once you discovered 60,000 you know, uh, duplicates, you should have called the parties, informed them about it, because they are your major stakeholders. But you did not until a video came out, and then in reacting to the video and uh, criticisms associated, then you sought to now correct uh, what happened. When we return, you answer that for us. Thank you. We'll be right back. You're welcome back. This is News File. It's your most authoritative news analysis platform. My guest, Sami Jemfi, Director of Communications of the NDC and um, a communications officer. And then you have uh, Obi Amor. Also, we have on the line or via Zoom, uh, Srebo Kweku of Kweku of the Electoral Commission. And we'll finish with him quickly. I ask you that question. Uh, did you live up to your motto, fairness, transparency, and accountability? when your key stakeholders uh, were left in the, in, the, in the dark about this uh, discovery of 60,000 uh, duplicate, uh, uh, you know, is it ID cards, uh, numbers? Yes. Uh, Thompson, uh, before I answer that question, I want to um, remind my brother, or I will say my, my nephew, Sammy Jemfi, that in, just last year, the, in LMBLE, the, the complaint of about 15,000 people's name missing the register. Right. And I believe he knows that we, we addressed them before the register was completed. So all these issues out of the And if you look at the catalog I gave you, these are all challenges which were addressed administratively without the involvement of the political parties. So in 2020, when we were placing the duplicate ID card, we, we didn't invite the political parties. We only sent them to the exhibition centers. And as I said, the party agents are there, and they help us to distribute the registers. So it's a simple process that we are doing. Have you heard so of, have you heard of the, situation, the situation in when Binduri? We want, when we go to the, the, the situation in Binduri where uh, people went to the exhibition centre, and then they were giving just an exercise book to write, enter their names. I mean, that's, I just, I, that doesn't speak I, well I, of your work. Something. If, if you can get somebody to check He's from Binduri. We sent their new register to them three days ago. So it was addressed. See, if you look at the catalog I gave you, in 2012, some of the registers, we have flowers representing the people's faces. Flowers. That's there. And we are there all of these, these things. Okay. So when you do, we are talk of registering 16 million people within uh, one month or so. So these challenges will come up. But do you really have the time? Do you really have the time to make all these corrections? So that we don't have a, a register that has a problem. So did, did you have the same time 2012 when the catalog of issues have got yes, you? Yes. You 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 have you have, you have you have barely you have barely how many days to make all these corrections and produce a certified register before the elections? Something by 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 law, we are to give the political parties copies of the registers after we are finished with the compiling the special voting and transfers and process. These things are supposed to be done, and the application is to be done not less than 42 days to the election. Mm -hmm. So they would apply with around 25th of October. When they apply, then we will put those who have applied for transfer to uh, their names on the absent voters list at where they were and put them on transfer at their current places. Mm -hmm. Those who are applying for special voting, which mm -hmm. sometimes maybe you will apply, we will yeah, also yeah. put you on mm -hmm. absent voters list at your centers. Okay. When we have finished all these things, the registers will be ready and we'll give the final register to the political parties. Mm -hmm. By our projection, we are to give them uh, around the 11th of November. Mm. We have the whole of October to address all these challenges. All right. And I can assure you, I can assure you, 
that it will be one, it will be the best register ever produced by the Electoral Commission. All this right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, except that uh, Muntaka says to inform you that uh, the complaint in Asawasi was actually sent to the Electoral Commission here in Accra and copied to the officer in the region in that in that region on and the, the district of Muntaka. September. Yeah, which uh, means uh, which means uh, the uh, headquarters Muntaka, must be resolving the, the problem. The last time I talked to Anabu Muntaka was doing the registration. Okay. All right. He's my personal friend. So, do okay. registration. When you have any challenge, you will call me and we will talk about it. Okay. Right. Okay. Yeah, I'm not aware of what you're okay. talking now. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Srebo Koku, for your time. Uh, your job is a very difficult one. Uh, and this is a ritual almost um, every time, depending on whether the party is in government or is in opposition, uh, you suffer these things. I remember uh, around this time, how you you were being uh, assailed by the NPP. <laughs> now it is a time of the NDC <laughs> to assail you. But please give us the best of register as you promised, because we have invested enough. Thank you very much. Now let's uh, take your 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 concluding uh, yeah. Re remarks. Yeah, something. Uh, what you just did. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I will say. Oh, I jokingly, to, I spoke is, to facts. It's is misplaced sympathy. I spoke to facts. I have been hosting because, because, this show because, for because we are the victims here. They are not the victims. I've been hosting this show for a decade. <laughs> but that's just by the way. On. That's just by the way. <laughs> so, Dr. Shribo should note uh, that the official complaint from Asawasi went to the EC chairperson on the 24th of September. Okay. So, he can check that. All right. Secondly, his claim that only 60,000 people are affected by the problem of defective ID cards relative to duplicate voter ID numbers. It's not true. The EC has not published the names of voters who are affected by this problem. All they have done is that they have published a list of 100 districts which are affected. Now, we have discovered through our painstaking investigations <laughs> that districts which have not been listed as affected are indeed affected in their printing cards. Example is Swami. Mm -hmm. That is why they didn't want him to go yet. Swami is not mm -hmm. on the list of 100 districts affected by the problem of duplicate cars. Mm -hmm. And yet? Yet, yesterday, we caught them printing new cars there we caught them. and distributing we caught in their them. offices. <laughs> Number two, Honorable Obi Amwa, Dr. Strebo says that um, this has happened before the problem of duplicate cars. It is not new. But what that is true. But what they fail to tell our audience is that any time we have had these problems, mm. the EC has announced it, in some cases, published the names of the affected persons, and involved political parties in the resolution mm. of those problems. So that's the demand that uh, President Mahama makes of them. Exactly. That they should publish the names and details of all yes. persons affected. He's a very experienced politician. Okay. He's been involved in this process for a long time. Mm. The issue he spoke of in this constituency, was he not involved in the resolution? But when you, make, when you, when you detect these, uh -huh. what are you supposed to do beyond just complaining? What are you supposed to do? Yes. We, we've written to them officially. Our general secretary has it's written right to them, to raising all is these that, questions. Is that the way it's to right resolve to them? You have to write to them and raise the issues in the media he says, space. He says it's not writing. You say it's not writing, but what are you saying? It's not about writing, we should do it. What, what are I'm saying is that the individual who is affected no, by I'm what I'm building a point. Hold on. Should go through the process. How would they know? How would they know? Why, why would they have know? Have their names been published? No, you, you, you... If right now your voter ID number has been find duplicated... The register. So how do they make a... How do they... If your ID number has been duplicated, mm. how will you know? Okay. Your name has not been published. Your informed. name may not even if, be if in the I register. Go, if if, if I go for the exhibition, then I will see. Yes. That's it. They have not been informed. Mm. If, you, if you go for the exhibition... Doing, no, your attention will be drawn if, to if, it. Because of time, if I can... the parties, attention will be drawn to it. That This is what we are doing. I was going to Able Kuma, Esler's place, Daipa. They met, just like my place. They met, they you see, informed them Honorable that this Ubi is what Amwa. is happening. We, but for the fact, but for the Ablikuma Central video, which went viral on social media, we would not have been having this conversation because we would not even have known. Ah, no, they have not informed political parties of you, this anomaly. I said that. Every, Let me proceed, please. Mm. Oh, but again, you, you again, that issue. again, he says that, oh, it doesn't matter. Even if your card is duplicated, you can vote. Yes. Really, Dr. Srebo? What you are proposing is a recipe for chaos on 7th December. And you must revise this position. He says if you don't have a the card. The reason is that. He says if you don't, don't have a card. And he says that even if you have the duplicated card, it's immaterial. 
your ID number is immaterial. You can vote. Is that why he's okay. saying? Okay, I've heard, him, that is what he said. I've heard him say, if you don't you have, have a card, card, you can still vote. Yes, and, and so he has also vote. said that even those with the duplicate ID numbers, they that. are only replacing it because they need it for bank transactions and other transactions. Okay. He said it on Good Evening Ghana. And, that, and, 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 and even here, he said that it is immaterial. Let me show you mm -hmm. the, the, what, what we risk, you know, having, the chaos we risk having on 7 December. When you go to vote at any polling station, you mention your name, they check it, they check your name in the alphabet register. Mm -hmm. Your voter ID number, he knows, is unique to you. That is what helps the EC officials to identify where you are in the register, mm -hmm. the page, and whether you are on the left side or the right side. Mm -hmm. If you come to a voter, a polling station, mm -hmm. with a card, with one ID number, mm -hmm. which is different from the ID number which has been regenerated and which is what will be in the register. Mm -hmm. And I am a police agent. I will challenge you. I will not allow you to vote. Oh. Because mm -hmm. that number is not unique to you. Is that the chaos the EC is, 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 is proposing right, that right. We, 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 you know, we walk ourselves into? Again, something. He says that these anomalies mm. are normal. And that's your very final comment. Oh, last but one, please. Mm. I will do that quickly. Your very final comment. Mm. But Honorable Obiamo has just exposed them. First of all, they are talking about 2012. Why not 2016? Mm. Are we not learning as a country? Yeah, you can talk about it. So in 2012, about the total number of people who were included, 7,308. Yes. 2020, how many years down the line? In Ashamai alone, missing names, 7,000. In Jirapa, over 2,000. You said we should talk about 2016. So what's the 2016? What I'm trying to tell you is that in 2016, we did not have these problems. In 2016, you didn't have this. You understand? Hold on. Okay. The limited Even with Ozolet has... machines. Mm. Limited now you claim to have bought their own the best technology and all that. So, in so I am telling you that we did, we didn't in terms have, of the magnitude of these anomalies, we and the difference is that limited registration. Exactly. So the difference is clear, right? It can't be the same. You Hold can't on. expect the same thing in 2016. No, okay. Yeah, okay. because that was not a wholesale registration. Yes, don't use that but the point I'm making is right. that even mm. in 2012, mm. in terms of missing names, we are talking about 7,000. Mm. Okay. This year. According to Dr. Srebo, and I'm not accepting that figure, but for purposes of this discussion, mm. he claims that the outstanding missing names, mm -hmm. 17,000. Can mm -hmm. you compare the two? Mm -hmm. The difference, again, is mm -hmm. that in 2012, we had ample time to rectify the anomalies. Mm -hmm. As we speak, we have eight days okay, for presidential have... candidates to file their nominations. We don't right. have eight days. He says, he says they, finally, have finally, they have finally, time to get finally, registered. Finally, finally, yes, let's get to my last point. Oh, I'm sorry. My last point. I'm sorry. Let's get to it. No, no, no. Part sorry. Of my time. Yes. Oh, let's hear your final comment. Let's hear your final comment. As comments. I've said, yeah. at IPAC, we, we told the EC that we want the assurance that these things will be done. And we will do everything to ensure that it's done. If we have to assist, we assist for them to do it. Our attitude is not... Um, there's fire everywhere, nothing can be done. Because and you are in power, that's how no, you no, conduct no. yourself. In, in, yeah. in 2016, the only we were not in power, it was, it was not any time, different from what the NDC no, Every do. time mm. that we have gone for elections, mm. we, we've made sure that we are our own referees. Mm. We don't depend on any referee. Mm. Like Azuma and Nessie in the boxing ring. We take the law, we teach the law, we confront the issue with the law, and then we go through it. That's how come. We are able to even get our results before the EC. Has there been any occasion in this country where blank registers have been exhibited? Uh, sorry, blank sorry. registers. No, no there, there is no sorry. register. Yes, sorry. there, there is no register. The there is no register. So please, no, the, 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 the NDC should calm down. They should assist mm. for this process to go on well. Mm. So, so that the right person is elected. So, and the, so, people of Ghana, so the MPP, the MPP do? doesn't see anything wrong at all yes. oh, we, with we, what is going on. No, we, we, we do. Wrong. You do? We do. <laughs> and we express it at IPA. And we told them that we want it resolved. John Boy do, I was there with John Boy de McMenu. We asked them those who... Is who, it pardonable to have these areas where the entire list of people who registered, yes. not even one? It's not pardonable. <laughs> It's not part of that, but I'm not here to defend the EC. Mm. So it's they, not part the EC should be making these admissions. Yes. Yes. So I don't speak for the EC. What I'm, no is that, what I'm saying is that if I find in my area that 300 names had different codes and they've printed new cards for them, I have to assist for them to get a cast mm. so that they will vote for me on election day. Okay. If I find in the brief 141 people whose names are missing, mm. mine is to ensure that these names are brought back mm. so that they vote for me. Yeah. And I'm saying that it's not peculiar to their so-called strongholds. Sure so you should be interested because yes. uh, the integrity of the, of the elections 
is good for stake. all of us. Yes. yes. If the election is stake. subject to a challenge, perhaps in, in a court, God. because it's of some a, of these things, it's a waste of everybody's time. Can ten, yes. whatever may happen. And you haven't now, any as of the you know, you that uh, the ritual, the ritual and, <clears throat> and unforgivable situation uh, in the north continues to happen. Uh, for the past few weeks, there have been torrential rains in the northern parts of the country. Uh, this, coupled with the spillage of the Bari Dam in Burkina Faso, has caused severe flooding in the Upper East, uh, Northeast, and Northern regions of Ghana. So far, over 30 people are reported dead and over 100,000 displaced in communities located along the White Volta. In response to this, Echo Bank and Joy FM, Joy Super Morning Show, have launched their Up to Us campaign to mobilize funds to support the affected uh, person. So you can join the drive by making a donation uh, for this worthy cause. Donations can be made in all Ecobank branches nationwide or through direct transfers from any bank into the Northern Floods Disaster Fund. Northern Floods Disaster Fund with account details as follows. The account name is the Northern Floods Disaster Fund. The account number is 144-100-233. 8104 and the branch is Echo Bank Head Office and the SWIFT code is Echo C G H A C. The SOT code is 13 01 01. You can also donate on the Echo Bank mobile app by following the steps that you are familiar with if you use uh, Echo Bank. And then you follow the prompts and make your contribution as well. Join EcoBank and join 99.7 FM today to make a difference in the lives of the many displaced people up north. EcoBank, the Pan-African Bank. Join 99.7 FM, radio for discerning listeners. 25 years of excellent broadcasting and leadership. This has been News File. And I've been your host, Samson Ladi Anyanini. And my guests have been Dr. Sribo Kweku, who is Director of Electoral Services, Elect Electoral Commission. Sami Jemfi is National Communications Officer, National Democratic Congress. Osei Bonsu Amwa is MP, Equapim South, and Deputy Minister, Local Government and Rural Development. Elia, you had Dr. Professor Kwesi Ening, Director, Faculty of Academic Affairs and Research, Kofi Annan International Peacekeeping Training Center. We are unable to deal with the question of corruption and how the parties intend to fight it in their manifestos. We should do that the next time, particularly at a time when the World Bank has isolated Ghana and given Ghana a lot of praise because of the work done by Domelevo at the Auditor General's Department. Thank you very much. Have a good afternoon.